starting at the Tulsa Honor Academy. A Tulsa school board member says racially abusive language has become normalized at the school and creates a constant toxic environment. Two News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani spoke with a board member and a parent who's fed up. We are standing here today on hallowed sacred ground. 1921 yet exists and is alive in 2023. Inside the Greenwood Cultural Center, school board member Dr. Janetti Marshall called claims of a racially abusive school environment at Tulsa Honor Academy the worst she's heard of in her seven years at the district. During a news conference on Thursday, Marshall cited various claims, including disproportionate discipline against black students. This is not acceptable and we will not set and allow our voices to be silenced. Sherry Ospok says her son, Caden Matthews, was the subject of racist language and bullying so much that she unenrolled him Monday. Multiple teachers pick on students there and they have their chosen few that they pick on and they are mostly of non-Hispanic origin. Not necessarily African-American, some are white. It's bad. The school CEO, Elsie Ureta Pollock, sent us a lengthy statement Thursday afternoon touching on the many claims. One excerpt says, quote, while we have taken many steps to address these racial incidents, we know that this is an ongoing effort. This issue must be addressed at school, at home, in our broader community. Our school culture improvement plan, which began in January of 2023, outlines THA's plan to continue addressing these issues, which includes a partnership with the Restorative Justice Institute of Oklahoma. Marshall first spoke out in a Board of Education meeting Monday before a vote to renew TPS's contract with the charter school. I've also listened to the voices of those who felt ostracized because they were both Marshall and Dr. Jerry Griffin were the only board member votes against renewing THA's contract with the district. It passed Monday, 4-2. to two. And it's not just racial concerns, but also safety and security. Matthew says his now former school was locked down repeatedly in the last few months due to threats and that parents only found out from their kids. THA just um, made us give all of our backpacks at the start of the like day and we went into class and we have been in like lockdown and hold a lot of times. The CEO statement addressed that claim saying, quote, Tulsa Honor Academy has never had a deficiency for our safety protocols. Lockdowns, internal or external, are communicated to both families and staff. Marshall says she plans to bring forth ethics complaints and see if the contract can be terminated. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Pollock's rebuttal on behalf of Tulsa Honor Academy goes on to touch on several other points. And we do have the charter school's full statement for you on our website, kjrh.com.